Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create a list of random numbers with a random seed. So what is random seed? Well, based on the Wikipedia article here, a random seed is basically a number that is used to initialize a pseudo random number generator. And another good description of it, we can be found here in the statistics how to dot data science central dot com article here. It kind of talks about it and references Excel. And in Excel, there's not really a good way to create a random number with a seed. So basically what you want to do is you want to give the seed number and have that random number be generated off that seed number. It's always going to be the same random number. That's why it's a pseudo random number. So for example, in Excel, you've got two functions, rand and rand in between they're always going to generate different random numbers and you don't know we really know if there's a seed value in there there probably is but there's another random in between there's another random function and let's say I give this uh, maybe something big bigger 100 and they're gonna generate random numbers double click that and anytime you press the F9 key or delete key or any kind of other function in Excel to execute, they're going to generate random numbers. But let's say you wanted always the same pseudo random number generated based on a seed like the number five or number six. You could do it in Excel and the things I found out there, you have to use VBA. But with Power Query, you can actually do it without using VBA. So let's see how we can do it. And it's fairly easy to do it. All we need to do is go under data, go get data, and we will have data from other sources, do a blank query. Let's fit this into the window. And for my first step, I'm just going to use the mf code function list.random. I have to type equal list.random. And how many numbers do I want? Let's say I just want 10 numbers. Press enter we will have our list of random numbers. If I refresh this and go to home, refresh, you'll see it's all randomized, right? But if I want to have the same random number over and over again, or I, I want to create a pseudo random number that I know that's based off of a seed, we're going to put our seed here, comma, and then we have our seed. Maybe our seed is going to be the number three. So it's going to base the random number generation off that number three. Press enter. And we have 2395 as our first one. If I refresh, it's always going to be the same, right? If I remove that seed, just remember 23951923. Press enter. If I refresh, you can see that it changes. But I put that three back in. Press enter. Press refresh. That 23519213 comes back. If we wanted to use this pseudo random number list in another table what we can do is we can wrap this into something else let's say that I keep this and I load this and I load this as a connection only as if that's my query there let's say I have my a list of people here uh, there's 20 people or 20 names here and I want to give those 20 that random pseudo random list first I'll probably need to kind of merge these so Let's go back into Power Query here, this query with the random, pseudo random numbers. And I'll put an index column here. First, I'll turn this into a table. Right now, it's a list. Turn this into a table. Click OK. And I'll add an index column so I can do some merging. Go to Add Column, Index Column. I'll just start from one. So we have our index. I'll call this one random. And let's, let's pretend it, it's, it, it's random right now. There's not really a seed. Press enter. Right? And so it's always going to change. If I go down here, we'll see it always changes. But we have our index column here. Close that. Keep. And I'm going to bring this into Power Query from Table and Range. And I'll also add an index column here. Go to Add Column, Index Column number one we have 20 ooh we have 20 so let's make sure we have 20 in the other one close this let's go back here and have it generate 20 random numbers 
So instead of 10, go back to our first step here. Instead of 10, we're going to have 20. Press enter. Now we've got 20 random numbers. And we'll know that this is all random here. Click close and load. So what I want to do is now I want to reference this table or duplicate duplicate this table. Now I want to bring my table back up and I'll just merge it with query one based on those index numbers. So I'll go to merge queries and based on index number my query one table so I can bring back those random numbers. Click OK. Then I'll expand this and and just expand it and just keep the random number. Unselect index, click OK. And now I have my list of random numbers. If I refresh, you notice they all change. I don't need this anymore. Right click, remove. But what if I wanted to keep that random number the same? Well, I just have to go back into the qu query one, my pseudo random number generator, and input that seed. So let's close this, save, keep and go back into query one, double click that, and let's provide a seed for my random number. Go into the source here. Let's make this, I don't know, three again. Press enter. So it's always going to be two, three, five, one, nine, two, one, three. The same number we had earlier, right? So I click close and load. And let's bring this connection into our cell here so we don't have to always open Power Query or the editor. Right click, load to, let's load it to that cell there. I'll put it in H1 and click OK. So we have our random numbers. That 2359923 is based off our seed. So, so we have that pseudo random number based on our seed. If we want to change that, just go back into Power Query and if we wanted to have a different seed, we can change that. Right, instead of three, maybe we'll have five. Press enter. We have our 338 here. Click close and load. That's going to change to 338 when we refresh that. And click the refresh button. We have 338 here. So, so here's the way we can create a random number based off of a seed. We can just use the list.random number and generate a bunch of random numbers based on a seed. If we want to apply it to another table, we can just merge that with another table based on index numbers as our referencing point, and it will give us our pseudo random numbers. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.